Um, what more could you ask for? An awesome, beautiful setting like Exposition Park with a huge movie screen, cool movies, cool people, great food, uh, live music. You know, there's vendors, Kiss FM, all kinds of cool stuff. It's, to me, the best summertime event in Los Angeles. We're here checking out Ruby Sparks or Little Miss Sunshine. Um, we like the fact that, you know, uh, love never has, doesn't have, necessarily have to be romantic. It's a blast. There's um, 1,500 people looking to have a great time. Everybody's nice and friendly, and they bring their dogs, and they bring their wine, and they bring their beach blanket, and everybody just has a great time, and we love being here. We're here because we love the movie and we like getting outdoors. And uh, we love that Street Food Cinema does at, at Exposition Park because we love this place. Street Food Cinema is awesome uh, for us because we get to park up uh, with LA's best food trucks. Um, it's a beautiful atmosphere here. They do a great job with the screen and the sound. And it's just a great place to come out for a family gathering. We just came to Street Food Cinema to have some fun, have a girls' night out. Yeah. It's been a while. Yeah. So it gives us the opportunity to be outside, drink wine in a park, and hang out with the person that I love the most. It's awesome. Really, really excited. It's, it, it's a multi-sensory experience. Yeah. You just stand here and you smell all these delicious food trucks and all these yeah, people delicious. smiling and little babies and elderly puppies. people. It's puppies. It's it's everything that anybody could ask food, for. Good smelling food, babies, puppies, nothing to be mad at. Grass for your toes. <laughs> Wonderful. It's awesome. That's why we're back. Yeah, I mean, I love the, the music beforehand. It's just amazing. And, and the music during, I mean, we, the two bands we've gotten to listen to have been great. Every Saturday night we're here, and uh, tonight it's really fun because it's free, uh, and we're going to be uh, getting the community together, and Naked Juice is here, so we can't beat that. I like street food cinema because it's a great idea for a cheap date, I think, just for us to kind of hang out together, have fun, watch a good movie. Saw the tweet, tweeted, our wire love is real, and we got free tickets and awesome food trucks. It's a good place to be for a date. Street Food Cinema, it's amazing. We love it. Yeah. We want one from every truck. Looks very one delicious. From every truck. The band is good. And the movie's probably going to be really exciting. So. Yeah. We wanted to find something fun to do that's free, so it's always a good thing. And food's, yeah. food's enticing as well, so we yeah. wanted to just yeah. check out the... It was a nice, quiet setting to get away from the city for a while, too. So. True, yeah. I'm having the best time. This is my first time here, and I think it's super beautiful. It's stuff like this that really makes me love LA. Well, I love watching films with people, and to be able to watch in a crowd and have a picnic and food trucks and a glass of wine. Outside in LA, I mean, it's this pretty is good. our first time to street food cinema, but it's not our first time seeing movies outdoors in Los Angeles, and I think it's really, you know, I love old drive-in movies, and this is kind of like keeping that alive. So we're very, uh, we appreciate it. We'll be back. We'll be back, yes. Uh, just the idea is kind of brilliant. You tweet something, put it on Facebook, and you get to kind of come to this event with a bunch of food trucks and watch a movie. We've been together for almost three years from high school, and we're in college now, and we're long distance, actually. So USC and Boston University, so I think the fact that we've lasted two years, long distance shows. It says something. <laughs> it's doable. It's worth it. <laughs> well, my love obviously would be food. If you look over here at my food truck, and that is my big old kind of goofy looking face over there. Um, just I'm passionate about making people happy with good food. Um, you know, like I'm all excited today about my new mojito chicken sliders because I made this like awesome new mojito aioli today and I was all excited about it. Um, and that's just my love. That's well, that's what makes my love real, is seeing people actually eat my food and smile. We've been apart for a couple years, all going to different colleges, and we all still find time to come back and hang out and just get to spend some quality time together, and so that's why our love is real. Okay, what makes our love real? Well, the answer is actually right Our three there. children. Our three kids. Guys, James, Everett, Augusta. That that's, that's real. Proof, that's as real proof, as it gets. Proof of our love. She's the love of my life. Um, I asked her to marry me a few months back and we are uh, we're down that road now we're getting married in in two months he actually I asked for the free tote he asked for the free nail polish so if that gives you any indi indication of our amazing relationship he's looking out for me <laughs> I'd say our love is real because we kind of have a hard time going a day without each other just you know it's kind of uh, a struggle to get by when she's 
out of out of town or out of the house or something. Mad is two people believing in something impossible. Um, I don't know. I think love has so much to do with commitment, and commitment is one of the hardest things in the world. Um, so it seems like magic, but it's actually a lot of hard work. I think what makes love real is doing stuff like this. I mean, you can sit around your house and you know play video games or whatever with anyone, but uh, yeah, why wouldn't you want to share something like this with somebody you love? I think this is what makes love real is doing fun stuff like this. I think love is real because uh, of my mother. Uh, she was the inspiration for our food truck. She passed away a couple years ago from cancer. And uh, for that, we actually reached out to the Make-A-Wish Foundation because we want to do something in her memory. Uh, our love is real because she puts up with a lot of, I guess, my really annoying things that I do all day and it still keeps coming back, so that's why. We can stand each other for long periods of time. Yeah, we were just talking about this earlier. <laughs> and, we don't get annoyed uh, with each other, so. We find fun things to do. Yep. Anytime. Yes, dear. Yes! <laughs> the most important two words in a man's life. If he wants to be married, yes, dear. <laughs> we are going to do our signature contest. And of course it ties in with how you got in here. What makes your love real? What makes your love real? Is that we'll always be together and we'll always push through it. Oh. <laughs> what makes your love real? Um, I actually had the pleasure of seeing Ruby Sparks the other night. And it's about... No, no, for real. No, don't tell us what it's like. Don't just like... No don't, don't tell us the whole plot. Well, no, I'm just going to say one thing about it. It's about a guy. It's the girl of his dreams. And the whole time, I was thinking about my woman. And that's why... Uh... Oh, that's a good one. You didn't have to write the girl of your dreams. You actually just met the girl of your dreams. Okay, we like that. I'm trying to get out of the way here. All right. That was a good one. Thank you. <laughs> what makes your love real? What makes our love real is that even on my worst day, Jacob Maggot, you still make me laugh that anyone has on my best day. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, baby. That's good. She might win just because she's got a beautiful accent. Okay. <laughs> what makes your love real? Free movies. <laughs> that, that, that can do it. Um, we're not perfect, but he makes me feel perfect. Oh, that's good. Anyone pretty who pretty can make you feel perfect, even though you're not, is awesome. What makes your love real? Being challenged and vulnerable at the same time. Yes, love is definitely challenging. <laughs> and makes you feel vulnerable. That's good. All right, what makes your love real? Um, my husband and I both got out of the military recently, and we've been through some ups and downs. And... We're still extremely happy and satisfied with each other, so. Awesome. Love and indoors. We love that. All right, what makes your love real? Um, giving up the warm blanket at night even though I'm frozen. I think a lot of us can identify with that. Steve, can you identify? Okay. Uh, <laughs> what makes your love real? I don't really have like a one line that makes it real, but this is my sister, Adrian, and it was her 18th birthday a few days ago. And yeah, she's an adult. <laughs> so today I took her and some of her friends for a day on the town in LA and we totally geeked out and went to a, a Whimsic Alley, which is a Harry Potter themed Diagon Alley in LA. For anyone who doesn't know, look it up. And it makes my love real because she's willing to be as nerdy as I am all the time. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Love it. Okay. What makes your love real? Um, I think it's when you're out doing anything and all you really want is for them to be there with you too. Good one. That's how you want to share it. I love it. What makes your love real? Whether it's a couple of hours, a couple of days, a couple of weeks, months, years that go by when we don't see each other, I know that I always love her and she always loves me, whether we're sitting on a blanket watching a movie, chatting, or just touching each other, talking, doing nothing, it doesn't matter. I always feel it, it always exists. Awesome, awesome. All right, and you, what makes your love real? Getting engaged to my boyfriend since I was 15, and now I'm 25, so we dated 10 years. 
So, we've been through ups and downs. I know him very well. And I'm so happy got engaged May 26th. And um, I just love him more than ever. And um, so that's what makes me happy. And did you bring him here tonight? I did. She's like, no, he's at home. No. <laughs> Thank you. All right, what makes your love real? My love for my girlfriend Hannah over there is real because she is my missing puzzle piece and makes my life complete. I love you, baby. Oh, I love that. Awesome. Okay, what? What? You love your rock and ice, don't you? That's a really good dessert. If you guys haven't tried it, it's awesome. He didn't want to let go of it. All right, what makes your love real? Because I love her more than I love this cave ice. <laughs> Alright, what makes your love real? Uh, just keep trying and making it work. Awesome. Okay. Word to the wise. Okay, and last but certainly not least, do you, you guys feel like you're going to need this any minute? Get your popcorn in? Okay. okay. You were probably afraid someone's going to snag it. Okay. What makes your love real? Knowing that he'll always be there for me and make me chicken noodle soup when I'm sick and even when I look really yucky, he tells me I'm beautiful. That's awesome. Yay! Okay, let's give it a round of applause to everybody right here. The sisters. Oh. This guy right here. Right here. Right here. 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 There you go. They're like, what did they say again? Right here. Right here. Leo. for all of you, so.